Hi, I'm Bernie from Crafters Companion. Today I've got with me our threaders pattern packs with five projects in here to make lots of different types of wallets and purses. You can actually make a coin purse, a travel wallet, a wallet, which is what I'm going to do today, a clutch bag and a purse. So this is the one. Look at this. How cute is this? Gorgeous suede fabric on the outside. And then you've got that 100% cotton on the inside and you've got space in here for all of your cards. You've also got extra space in the sides here and then in the back as well for your notes as well. So let's see how we put this together. With the pattern itself in the pack, you're getting your instruction booklet. So the instruction booklet is really clear and with everything you need at the beginning, equipment wise and fabric wise, and then step by step with photographs for each project. You also get this video. I will work along step by step with how it is in the brochure so you can follow it as well. If you do get stuck, you can rewind or pause. So we're going to come to the wallet. So here we are in here. Now, the other thing in here that we need when we make it is this positioning tool. Now, this is going to help us move those card slots to the correct position by the guide. The instructions in here will tell us which line, it's numbered one to nine, which lines to line up and how to stitch them. And then lastly, we'll get all the pattern pieces. So really good quality paper. You've got all your pattern pieces on there. You're going to cut all of those out to cut your fabrics. It tells you how many to cut of each. Now, you can pin these onto your fabric or you can use our paper pattern spray. This is an adhesive that activates with heat. So you spray the back of your pattern piece, put that onto your fabric, put your iron on. Once you've heated it, the glue in here activates and temporarily sticks it to your fabric so you can cut it round and then you can peel that off. It'll dry, it won't be sticky until you heat it again, but you can reuse it and reuse it. So definitely recommend to have some of that in your stash. So once you've got all your pieces cut out, you're then going to start assembling. Now, I also like, I say, to have my instructions here so I can follow whatever pattern that I'm following. I like to have it next to me. And I've got my finished one there just to refer to if I need to. So the first thing you're going to do is take one of your pieces. And I've got my lines drawn on here. I'm just going to show you how I position this on the top. And it tells you in the instructions which lines to look at. So it's telling us to align the third line of the tool with the bottom long edge of the panel. So the third line of the tool is here. I'm going to line that up with the bottom there. And we can see there that I would use a heat erasable pen just to draw, just to draw through and mark those lines on there. So we've got those lines marked on there. So what you're going to do next is take your card slot fabric and on ours the background is the peach color the card slot is the gray so what you're going to do is line up with the first line so if we look at this one we've got two lines drawn on here so we're going to line it up with the first line and then with a quarter of inch seam on your machine you're going to stitch along there you're then going to bring this down and line it up with the second line and then just give that a little finger press. And then if I bring it in on this one, we've then put the second one on. So with the second one, you're going to line it up with the second line, stitch your quarter inch seam again, and then bring it down so it's flush with the bottom. And then once you've got it flush with the bottom, you're then going to do a basting stitch. So a basting stitch is a long stitch on your machine stitching close to the very edge, just tacking it in place to hold it in place. And we're going to actually need to make two of these for the wallet, one for each side. So we've got one for each side, exactly the same. If I turn it over, you can see the stitch lines. So we've stitched the pieces on and then we've put that one around the edge just to base them in place. If I bring in the wallet, what you'll see is we've got these and they open in the center. So we can pop you know, receipts in there or extra cards in there. You've got plenty of places to put items in. So we've got a backing on here, which is the peach fabric. So what we need to do is take the piece, a piece of peach fabric, pop it over the top. You're going to take your other piece as well, use this one here, and pop that one over the top. Now what we need to do is sew the side seam. 
but it does tell you as well in the instructions that when you put them together you want to saw one on the right hand side and one on the left hand side if I just pop a quick pin in there so we're going to pop that one in there and then when you've stitched it obviously that's going to stitch uh, go to the back like that excuse my lining up there we go that's one going to go to the back and then with this one we're going to stitch the left hand side of that one and then that one's going to go to the back but it's going to go to the back the other way so what happens is we've now mirrored that effect so if we bring that one in we can see how our seams are going to be both on this inner side we're then going to place that onto the back and fabric which is another piece of gray so if we look at this one here so on this one here i've done that stitched that over and then i've got another piece of a rectangle which is the gray fabric which is the backing you're going to place that on there so all the raw edges are around the outside and then again you're going to baste in place the reason why you baste is because if once you start stitching this it can move so you want to keep them as much in place as possible you can pin you can clip but basting actually is the best way to do that and then what we're going to do is we want to put the backing on so if we look at the finished one this is this piece here but if we look on the inside again we've got that gray lining in here so we're going to put make do this backing piece here so again get your pattern piece that you've cut out and we're going to put it right sides together on here now similarly when we did this inner side here we're going to stitch just right the way along the top of there again quarter inch seam you're then going to flip this over so you've got right uh, right sides out wrong sides facing okay but that'll be seamed across there so that's going to then make that whole front section and then once you've got that whole front section done you're then going to have your outside pieces so this is where we've used this fantastic um suede i was going to call it cork but it's suede <laughs> so you're going to lie that one on top of there so we can see now how we get into this one here so that's your lining there in effect the back one and then you're going to sandwich it with your piece of suede and then you're going to sew all the way around the outside but you're going to leave a gap for turning once you've stitched it round clip all your corners and then turn it through the gap and then once you've turned it through the gap you then can fold in the seam and I like to fold it over a quarter of an inch and just just rub it with my nail on my finger but then press it to get it nice and flat and then you're going to take it to the machine and you're going to top stitch all the way around the outside of the wallet and what that does is it gives it that lovely professional finish but at the same time closes that gap so there's no hand stitching to do you can certainly do it by hand if you prefer and leave off the top stitching again that's how you can personalize it for you so that is how you make the threaders um, wallet isn't it fantastic it's great it's really handy I'll get my card there we can see that you can pop say I'll pop all your cards in there and you're getting all of the detail there in that pattern pack for you to do it isn't it fantastic I, I love it really handy makes so if you head on over to the website you'll see the other videos are there to make the other four projects in this pack